to a brief demonstration of flight operations of our Shadowhawk Mark II. A flight should take about 9 to 10 minutes. We'll have an opportunity to see the capabilities of what they call the electro-optical camera, as well as the infrared camera that uh, we're going to have an opportunity to see a, a live demonstration. On the front of the aircraft, you can see a gimbal. The gimbal has two cameras in it. It has an electro-optical camera as well as a clear camera. Unlike a lot of UAV manufacturers, we supply both of those camera systems. What you're going to also see here in just a few minutes, when the aircraft goes up to altitude, again, that's under autonomous operation. The aircraft is being flown by the laptop, so being back. Okay, so today we're here today for a demonstration. Am I correct? Okay. That's correct. How long would it be to actually implement this into the different um, city departments? Well, actually, it can, be done for, yeah, it, it can be done pretty quickly. The only thing is making sure that we have uh, funding on this. Of course. Uh, there, there is a funding source uh, called Stone Garden that uh, uh, Sheriff Coyette uh, gets some money, and, and actually the mayor and I were talking about ta approaching him and saying maybe the city and the county can do something together uh, to get one together, uh, join one uh, where they can afford it together to maybe buy it under the stone garden so we can go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's very impressive. I, I've seen the big ones, this is a smaller one, this is a helicopter, and uh, it's, it's very, very impressive. You, you can see the uh, capabilities of doing things here. So have multiple city departments and county departments uh, expressed interest in this? Uh, well, uh, here in uh, Laredo, it's only the city and the county. Uh, and uh, I think the uh, Montgomery, Montgomery County uh, around the Houston area has bought one of these. Uh, the civilian or first responders is something new. It's been used mainly in the military, then Homeland Security. Uh, some of the ag agencies or FEMA, first responders, federal level have used some of this. Uh, but at the lower, you know, at the state or local level, this is something new. But I think you're going to see something new, uh, more of this coming up in the future, especially, you know, you know, we got to just make sure we address the issues of safety, uh, which is, you know, working on the issues, of course, the uh, privacy issue. And I think people need to understand that the Supreme Court has already ruled on that. But I think, you know, once people see the benefit of using technology in a smart way, in a very appropriate way, it can be very helpful to save lives. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to add?